This is uh, my French Moss 45, and these have a really interesting history. As most uh, World War II historians will note, uh, Germany at the end of the war was broken up into zones of occupation, and the French happened to have Oberndorf, Germany, to where the Mauser factory was. And as soon as the French got in there, they uh, opened the factory up, hired people back, and they were building P-38s, K-98s, and even about two, 3,000 Lugers. And they wanted a trading rifle. And the Germans had the ex really excellent KKW, so they took that, and they had Mauser design this for them as a trading rifle. This is a, what they call a Moss 45, and it's basically a KKW action. Biggest change are a peeper sight, a five round magazine, and uh, the Russians got word that they were uh, building guns again. At the so they uh, filed a complaint. They wanted the plant destroyed, so the French took all the uh, machinery out of uh, Mauser and moved it to uh, Saint Antoine, and they uh, continued to build these there. So this one has the, uh, the rear front sight protector. which I will take off so you can see the sight. It's a little bit These are kind of easy to lose. That's why most of these you see don't have the front sight protector. And I just fire a few rounds for function, make sure it works. These are really Cool, high quality 22s. It feels like a, a centerfire rifle. It's so heavy. I've had uh, a few of these. This one I picked up. It's in absolutely uh, pristine condition. Of course it works. This is basically a Bowser KKW that's been uh, modernized a little bit. But fantastic rifles, and they're still relatively inexpensive. I think I paid $350 for my first one. Collectors know about them now, so you're going to pay more for them. This one's about, uh, I think I paid $600 for it, but it's absolutely brand new. And there is no import mark on it, so uh, I just wonder if some GI brought this back. Okay, that's it.